All right, welcome back to To The T Sports Talk Podcast. Um, we are here at the Yellow Jacket Hoop Fest, presented by Amateur Sports Club. And we are we have a coach with us right now from Tigers Elite, and we're going to get right into this interview. Hi. All right. Hey, what's up, Coach? How you doing, man? All right, wait, well, you can't hear. You need to put that on. <laughs> what's happening, Coach? How you doing, man? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? Good, good. Listen, it's uh, 9.15 in the morning on a Saturday. And I watched you for a look like, man, you full of energy already, <laughs> already. So with that in mind, and, and I know what this takes as one as being a coach, what age group do you coach? Well, first of all, give us your name. Just tell everybody uh, what's your name. I'm Coach Lopez, and I coach the Tigers of Elite. No, Lopez, Lopez Bryant, right? Garden, Garden, Garden. Okay, yeah. Lopez yeah. Bryant is actually my cousin. Yeah, okay. Lopez well, Bryant, <laughs> Garden. Yeah, that's right. All right. But, Lo- all right. Good job, Lopez. Um, what age group do you do you coach? I coach the third grade black and eighth grade black. Okay, boys or girls or boys. Okay, good. So, yeah, you up on a Saturday? You got kids with you all day. <laughs> you got energy. That's incredible. Um, why do you do what you do, man? I love it, man. You know, some people. They get up and go to the clubs late night, stuff like that. that. This is my club. Okay. You know, when I'm here, this is my happy place. So yep. giving back, teaching kids, developing them in, in the game of basketball and also life, that makes me happy. So when you see me around here with a lot of energy and happy and stuff, that's because, like I said, this is my happy place. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely shows. It definitely shows. Like I said, I was telling CJ, it was like, so we're in a, in, a, in a place today, like last week we were live, but we can't get live because of the internet signal here. And so um, so we just wanted to even, so, so it's like not say kill the time, but we just wanted to be able to talk to just different people, man. And I saw you, and the energy definitely was there. And I was like, man, I got I to gotta talk to this coach. Um, so what are some of the challenges, though, that you face doing this with with – third grade boys, eighth grade boys, AU basketball, just some of the things that they watch. And then as a coach trying to, I guess, deprogram some of the the bad things that they see, or not say necessarily the bad things. Some of the things there's not for skill. That's, I mean, you know, everybody wants to shoot a three. Yeah. And then everybody <laughs> wants to dunk when you talk about boys. So yeah, how, how's it going as far as the coaching aspect? The biggest challenge right now is everybody wants to shoot Stephen Curry threes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> if you can make them, by all means. But that's not many people. So trying to teach third graders what a good shot is and yeah. what a fast shot is. Yeah. And, you know, I'm very big on having IQ. Yeah, man. So sweet. If my third grade IQ is on the level of a fifth grade, it makes them that much better. For sure. So that's kind of the focus with them. Um, On the eighth grade level, the biggest challenge I'm having with them is playing every game. Because, Mm. you know, when they get older and they know they're good, they start to look at lesser teams and say, oh, I can take this playoff. Mm-hmm. I can take this game off. Man. And, you know, if you're around the game of basketball, the greatest players don't never take nothing off. Right. right. So that's the challenge I'm having with the older boys, getting them to focus every game and play hard. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and then like in the now in game of basketball, anyone can be anyone. If yeah. you take off a take off a play, that play can cost you down the road. Yep. Uh in the game. So yeah, like you said, taking plays off against teams that you should beat can get you get you beat. Yes. Um yes. so, so Man, yeah. that's that, that's pretty insightful. How old are you? I'm thirty four. Okay. That that's pretty insightful <laughs> as a coach. How long have you been coaching? I've been coaching. This is my fifteenth year. Wow. Yeah, man. So half your life. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I stop playing, I start coaching. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and so, you know, man, for kids to have particularly at this foundation level, uh a developmental age, it's very good to have a great coach because then oftentimes we, we we put kids in front of people who are not good coaches 
and it only intensifies the bad habits, right? Because someone's not correcting those. See, then I was just talking um, last week when we were watching the officiating, and I'm I'm actually a fan of the officiating officials, even at the third grade level, second grade level, calling everything. Yeah. And and the reason why is they need to know, like, because if they get away with that travel, they get away with whatever, the, the three seconds in the lane, they won't learn. Yes. And, and this is what – it's the developmental stage with AU, and then you get to that level where it's 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 kids are really good, yeah. right? But at this point, we're, we're, we're preparing you to learn for the next level. Yeah, and see, to, to speak on that, um, I deal with it a lot with my third grade. We tend to get roughed harder because the refs say, well, we're roughing the skill. Mm -hmm. So it kind of put, put us at a disadvantage to be more skillful because you will let this team go with a travel, a double dribble, because they their skill level isn't quite where my third grade is. And that's frustrating to them. It's frustrating because how is that other team ever going to get there if you don't rep them the same way you rep my team? Right. My boys only got there because in practice, it's a requirement. It's not a, I'm not asking you. I'm not, you're going to do it. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. It's like they have to do it. And they know in the games, even if the ref let it go, when we get to practice, we gonna handle that. Yeah. So yeah. they're looking at me like, Coach, he letting them do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. When it comes to the real, that's kind of the biggest problem I have. Like, right. I don't care about the calls, but if you're gonna call it on my team, call it on them too. Right. Because we can help each other. Even though my team is more skillful, I want to help them get better. Because right. if the whole upstate, we all got skillful teams. Think about how many colleges and things of that nature comes back and look. Right. So now my boys can get seen because your team. Yeah. If that's the case, I, I love it. Right. You know, yeah, right. I want, so I look at it like I want everybody to get good. Yeah. So now when they get like my eighth grade team, we wouldn't have to travel as much if there was a lot of competitive basketball in the upstate. Gotcha. Ah, that's a good that's, point. That's a good point. That's a very good point. <laughs> right. Now, it's, I'm just being honest, it's only my eighth grade, four teams in the upstate that really gives us a problem. Mm -hmm. So we have to go to Atlanta, Charlotte, um, Fort Lauderdale, places like this to get them the exposure because when you talk to these people, who have the connections with the exposure, they say, well, the basketball is not good enough. Mm. And it's yeah, we can talk about, you know, four to six organizations who's been around for a while, who've been producing, but a lot of the newer programs that are, you know, developing like a PSA or, you know, they get overlooked. Yeah. And it's like, no, we have good basketball in the upstate. It's just y'all aren't seeing it, and on top of that, at the smaller age groups, we aren't as gung ho on doing everything the correct way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, listen, that's a good point, and, and I'm gonna tell you, like, man, it's like so, guys. See, that we got like little snippets of podcast right here this is yeah. a podcast right here like <laughs> yeah the, the development the skills and the the travel and all that's involved to get the exposure but that's why we do what we doing yeah. on this end to, to help the to help the expose, state. yes the, because, really yeah just yeah. truly that's what we're doing we're trying to help put light on the upstate yeah literally yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and people like us we definitely appreciate it yeah because trying to get kids from the upstate exposure outside of the upstate, upstate is hard. hard it's yeah. so hard like yeah. it is hard in order for these boys or girls to get attention they have to go beat people by 30 40 points yeah these big tournaments mm. and if you've been to any of these big tournaments that is extremely hard yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> that yeah. is a street even the so-called lesser teams are good yeah so, yeah yeah, it's like 
it's crazy hard to get these kids exposure out of this area. And I think it's getting better. We're going towards the right direction because of people like yourself yeah. Yeah. and um things like that. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> it can get hard. Now we appreciate you on that insight because I mean that literally that's literally how we started this because we follow all the high school boys for football and then we try to do all the girls and boys for basketball just in the upstate we don't care about nothing what's going on anywhere else it's literally the upstate mm -hmm. so we're trying to get exposure light put on people the kids coming up like they're in middle school now to yeah. get them like hopefully someone sees them on here or like, oh, I'm interested. What what they have going on in the upstate? Maybe we need to go check out some players in the upstate or something like that. So, yeah, that's a big reason why, we, why we're doing this. We so, certainly yeah. appreciate it. Listen, you heard it here today. Coach Lopez, part of the Tigers Elite. Parents, listen, I know I, I know his team's set. But if you're looking for a good coach who's, who's, who's willing to put in the work with your kid, this is a guy right here. Oh, yeah. All right, sure. because... Get your kids ready because he's he's gonna coach him up and get him prepared. Whether they're in third grade or eighth grade, his expectations are the same. So, coach, we really appreciate you stopping by, talking to us. Oh, yeah, we're gonna post you up your your, your social. We get that. Make sure we get that from you real quick. I'll write it. We'll write it down so we we'll post this video so you can like, share, subscribe. Anybody knows this man, share this out because <laughs> listen. He's doing some good things here in the upstate with some kids. So we appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Yes,